a short story that's mad exciting. Stop. Character, conflict, theme, setting. Yes, these are the five things that you're gonna be needing when you're reading or writing. A short story that's mad exciting. Uh, put your snack back in your backpack, we're not finished. Something going wrong. That's the conflict, kids. A struggle in the plot. Now who's on top? Could be a fight for money like some robbers and cops. Could be an internal conflict, a struggle inside. Like I don't wanna tell the truth, but I don't ever wanna lie. Fix something in your eye. Now you're conflicted. What created drama? The conflict is. And today we will be learning about conflict. Uh, eventually we'll move to tension, how conflict can increase the tension in the story. But let's deal with conflict in a quick little rundown. So conflict, what is it? And you would want to write this in your notes if you did not know it. A struggle between two or more opposing forces. And a quicker little definition, the problem of a story. So you need to know conflict is the problem in the story. There can be more than one conflict, can be more than one problem. Problem, conflict, same deal. Conflicts. There are two different types, internal and external. And they get broken down a little bit. And we will go through the different types of internal, of which there is one, and the different types of external conflicts. Internal is man versus self. It's a problem within you. And then we also have external conflicts, which would be man versus man, man versus nature, man versus society, and man versus destiny or fate. And we're going to go through each of these. So if you don't know them now, you will within eh, about 2 minutes and 33 seconds. You can time me. Not really. Man versus self. Internal conflict. What should I do? Hmm. What should I do? Should... The alarm goes off. Should I get up or should I hit snooze? Internal conflict. Ah, I really want to go outside and play basketball with my friends, but I really have this test I should study for. What should I do? Study or and do my homework or go play with my friends? Man versus self. Internal, inside, you have to make a decision. What do I do? External conflicts. Man versus man, pretty self-explanatory. Problem between two or more characters. You should have Bernard Hopkins and Felix Trinidad, a boxing match. Uh, had a brother and sister arguing, man versus man conflict. Man versus nature. This is a problem between a character and a force in nature. This is not man versus a bear. That is still man versus man. So a character and a bear is still man versus man. Because they're characters. This would be more along the lines of a hurricane. This is flooding in West Wildwood during a hurricane. West Wildwood tends to flood. Big time. As you can see, how do you get to this area? Hmm. Anyway, man versus nature. Hurricanes, tornadoes, that kind of thing. Man versus society. Think of this like the forces in nature when we talked about antagonists. They're not forces in nature, but forces in the world, social issues. So problem between a character and a social issue, such as racism, poverty. And if you look at this back in segregation times, when water fountains, there were some for white, some for black African Americans. All right, that would have been man versus society. Other types of conflict could arise from this. You know, man versus self. What should I do? Where should I drink from? But man versus society that is another type of external conflict it's outside of us the last one is man versus destiny and fate All right, so we have destiny we have fate and this really is the character struggles against fate or the circumstances of life facing him or her we don't have control over it you know when we die that's our destiny that's something we don't control. So if you look at this, fate, the T is about to drop on this couple and probably hurt them. That is their fate. All right, that's what was supposed to happen, I guess. So that is the other type of man, external, sorry, external conflict. And that takes care of it.